been a wee while since my last video. It's not because I haven't been trapping, it's just my setup has changed recently. I'll show you what my day consists of now. So, good morning and uh, feel free to come to work with me today. So it's a nice windy morning. It was quite a bright moon last night, so I'm not quite sure how well I would have done. Found in the past, well, let me just change gear, that the possums don't often come out in the bright moon. There's actually a study going on, I believe in Canterbury, where they're looking into exactly that. Some rather clever girl is trying to work out whether they actually do respond to lunar cycles. So that would be good information for us trappers to know because we can then actually kind of time when we put our traps out when they're going to be most active so a lot of science behind it now i'm all for that do your research learn your prey think like a possum boat isn't much of a morning person i will check back in with you guys in a wee bit here we are So first trap and first possum on board. Off we go to the next one. What I wanted to actually say is there is actually a few rules with forestry companies. DOC actually enforce these rules too. And you have to have the trap off the ground. That's actually to try and stop ground birds, weckers, mostly weckers, from getting in the traps. So I'll show you one of those traps as we're making our way round and I'll show you the possum who's currently on board and making Odie very excited. Um, but here we are, another day trapping and uh, it's, it's not a bad life. Greetings. Nice female there behind me. As you can see, the winter coat is well and truly on. She'd be a fluffy one. So I'm gonna pluck her now. <laughs> I would advise getting yourself a dog. They can be quite helpful. Clean up on aisle four. Thank you, Odie. There you go. And it's down to business. Now one thing I'd say about this one is the placement of my trap. It was on a native tree just at the start when it came through the gate there and there was a lot of fallen down trees around and the possum had actually got under one of those fallen logs and made it very difficult to uh, actually get him out. So you want to kind of think about that when you're placing your traps. If you actually get a possum, how easy is it going to be to actually get him out of there? Or her, as this case is. Notice the sound of birds, dock, plenty of them around. And then you have it. It's my harshest critic over there. So I will catch up with you once I get a bit further around. Not seeing much action from my traps up here though at the moment. Shame. This one's usually been pretty good for me. You can see my setup flower this time, so the idea the old possum comes down here, sees the flower, up to have a wee go, and boom, he steps on my trap. So while I was coming along, I've heard the uh, jangle of a chain, and sure enough, I can see a possum just along this tree line, which is where I've set a few of my traps. Oh, well, I've got a possum here. Bit of wood. One possum. He's hiding around that side of the tree. So, like I said, it was a very bright moon. 
you always want your numbers to be higher, but you can only take what Mother Nature provides. So I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to sing him a wee lullaby and then catch up with you in a minute. <laughs> 